Hi, Mark here from PondAlgaeSolutions.com, and this week I want to talk a little bit about one tool that you can use to help deal with green water problems in your small pond. Green water, as you probably know, is caused by single cell algae, which are free floating in the water, and when they get in enough density, they will create anything from a light green tint to a pea soup look in your pond. And so they can definitely be problematic this time of year, midsummer, when the sun is at its uh, at, at its highest point and, and throughout the days they're longer and uh, the sun is exposed to the pond uh, to uh, a great degree and for most of the day and so uh, green water can be quite prolific this year. The one tool that I wanted to talk about today is actually called UV light and this is a typical UV system. This is actually from Aqua Ultraviolet. It is a 25 watt system and within this chamber there's actually a secondary a clear plexiglass chamber that you would slide in a UV bulb and it actually goes in this end. You would unscrew this, put it in, plug it in, install the, uh, the flow lines um, in and out so that the water flow that circulates throughout your pond and through your waterfall and all around actually goes through this tube. And ultraviolet light is actually uh, damaging to these single cell algae uh, it's also damaging to pathogens. Uh, it can affect, affect both good and bad bacteria as well. But anything that passes through here could potentially be affected. Now what happens with green water or these single cell algae? Well, if you have a biofilter installed in your pond, which you should, um, some of these algae are so small that they can literally pass right through the filter itself without being caught. And so UV will actually damage these and will make them clump together in bigger masses and your filter can do a better job of getting them out of the water. Uh, it also will kill some of them too. So UV when it's set up correctly can work very well for green water specifically. It will not help with string algae or algae that you see growing on the rocks in the bottom of the pond. If the algae cannot pass through this tube it will be unaffected. But if the system is set up with the proper flow rate, and flow rate is very important, um, it will usually eradicate green water problems in a matter of a few days, somewhere three to five days, maybe a little longer. Uh, ideally, you want, at least with these systems, uh, you want the full gallon volume of the pond circulating through this tube once every hour to an hour and a half. That will set up a good flow rate for this system. A couple points that I want to make. If you have UV installed and you're not getting good results, there's a couple things to check. The first is the life of the bulb. If the bulb is still working but it's over 12 months old in continuous use, there's a good chance that it could be depleted or running down. And so you may want to replace that and see if that upgrade helps. The other thing that you can do is try to slow the flow rate down through the filter. If the water is passing through this system too quickly, uh, then it, the UV may not have time to affect the algae. And if it doesn't, it's just going to go right on along like it always has, and you won't notice much of a difference. So try slowing the flow rate down more to what's called a sterilizer flow rate um, to give the, the system more time to affect the algae that's passing through it, and you may see improved performance there too. Also, ensure that your, your UV system is not uh, too small or too light duty for the size and the gallon volume of your pond. You want to do your due diligence beforehand to make sure that the flow rating and the gallon capacity is, uh, is suitable. Usually those three things are the main reasons that I have found when people have UV installed but they're not getting clearing of their green water. It's one of those three things uh, involved and so those are definitely something to check. Now, as I mentioned, you do want to use a UV with a, a good biofilter. You should. And you can actually put it ahead of or after the biofilter. Both have worked successfully. But one key point with a biofilter and with bacteria that you usually use to prime up the biofilter. If you have a UV installed and you're looking to add bacteria to your pond to help build that count up, make sure that you turn the UV off for at least 24 hours, if not longer. Put the bacteria in, let it colonize within the pond body, let it circulate through your biofilter and build up there as well. And then after a while, if you want, you can turn your UV back on. You could actually use, leave the UV off until you see green water developing again to save on your bulb life if you want to. That's not a bad idea. And uh, let the bacteria build up and take care of some of the problems in the pond. And then if you do see green water coming along again, turn the UV back on and it should deal with it effectively. So hopefully this gives you at least an, an early primer on 
on a very effective tool for green water problems. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, tips on the use of UV, you can enter those below this video on our blog. And uh, if you have any questions, be sure to email us uh, on our website at pondalgysolutions.com. Take some time this week to enjoy your pond, take care of those green water problems, and we'll see you again soon. <laughs>